normal. It is excellent. And this is really loud. Okay. Um, it was written in 99, so it is 10 years old, and I can really tell while reading it that it's old. Um, that was right when the whole gay marriage argument was first starting. It didn't really hit, at least in my experience, until my senior year of high school in 2004. Oh boy, um, I feel old. I feel really old today. I just did an interview for a gender diversity class here on campus, and I realized I've been here five years! I am old! But I'm graduating in three weeks. Yay! Anyway, the guy who wrote The Trouble with Normal, um, his arguments, his opinions are very, very radical, and I, I disagree with a lot of them, and he does a lot of sweeping generalizations. But I appreciate the evidence he uses to back it up. And that's the bulk of the book, so that's what makes it so great. He backs it up with evidence. He argues that gay organizations and gay people in general give the idea that they want to be treated normally. And he says that gay people aren't normal, so we shouldn't want that. I Anybody who generalizes a whole population of people who are influenced by so many other things like race, religion, region, status, all the other stuff. I, I can't get behind that. And anybody who says what this whole population wants and to say it's something as dramatic as that, I can't get behind that. But again, his evidence is what makes the book worthwhile. And as far as my stance on gay people as normal and abnormal, a lot of gay people lately seem to be wanting normality, but then, you know, there are people like Chris Crocker. And I don't know, I, I think that gay people are somewhere between normal and abnormal. But then again, so is everybody. Everybody has something going on that makes them normal and abnormal. The difference is, gay people have this giant rainbow elephant following them everywhere and nobody wants to talk about it. Maybe if people just talk about it, what makes us abnormal might not become more normal, but they'll be to tolerated and accepted. I mean, dialogue without somebody, you know, getting enraged and storming out the room, and dialogue without religion which would be great, would probably help more than anything else. And yeah, we are abnormal. Very abnormal. And I like that we're abnormal. But I like the option of being normal. Whatever normal means. I guess what a normal gay couple would be is, you know, a house with a picket fence in the suburbs with 2.5 kids and a dog and a cat, and they both have jobs and somehow balance the kid. Oh wait, that's normal for every family in America! And then abnormal would be a total, uh, I just saw a zombie stripper last night, so I'll just say the opposite end from the white picket fence as normal, and then the other side as abnormal would be a gay zombie stripper. And I'm sure somebody would find a way to pull that off. And I'm sure that it would get online and thousands of people would discover this new fetish of a zombie gay stripper. More power to ya!